Hello, and welcome to another wonderful Wired Wednesday. My name is Ashley, and this is Kobo's. Okay, so first things first, we're going to go to Kobo.com. I'm just going to go through and just show you the different kinds of e-readers, and I'm going to show you the e-reader that I have and just how to add OverDrive onto it. So for starters, you go to the Kobo.com, and then we're going to go down here to Apps and e-readers, and we're just gonna actually going to click, and it'll bring up this page here. So if you go down, you can see where it says e-readers, and then you can go to browse Kobo e-readers, but it's, this is just giving you kind of like an overall view of the e-reader. So the great thing about the Kobo e-readers is now they have a comfort light on them, so they're actually backlit. So whereas the old Kobos didn't have that, it was very dark and you had to read it in a light place, or have a little light, I used to have a little light that you could actually clip onto your Kobo to read it. Um, but this is fantastic. So now that you can, it's all backlit. Um, you can bring it anywhere with you. There's storage on it. Um, you, you know, you can access the internet. There's all kinds of things you can do now with these newer Kobos um, that you couldn't do with the old ones as well. Um, and like the batteries on these are just phenomenal. All right, so we're just going to go here and we're going to go to browse Kobo e-readers. I'm just going to kind of show you um, what they have to offer. So you can get a, a cover for these as well as what they were just talking about here. So the sleep cover is what they're talking about. So basically when you, um, you know, close it, close it, it'll put it to sleep, so to speak. So they have the Kobo Forma. And it kind of just gives you um, different things. You can learn more about each one. So you have the Kobo Ellipsa Pack. So that's when you can buy, like, everything together there. Um, the Kobo Forma is there as well. And you can go through and just hit learn more. I'm not going to do that today, but I'm just going to give you, like, just a brief overview. Um, the Kobo Libra H2O, and that's the one that I have that we'll be showing you today. Um, but they all run pretty similarly. So you can see here what they have here. It's waterproof. Um, you can go landscape mode to turn to turn pages and buttons and things. Um, there's uh, they're $199, and then they have them in different colors as well. But that's the one that I have personally. Um, the the Kobo Clara. So the thing I like about the about the Libra H2O is that's waterproof. So I live across from a beach. I could take that over to the beach and I can read, uh, which is really nice. Uh, and it's got eight. This, uh, the Kobo Clara has eight gigabytes of storage on it as well. And then you have the Kobo Nia. So it's got the touch screen, the comfort light, the adjustable brightness, and eight gigabytes of storage as well. So I'm gonna actually just go to learn more about the Kobo Libra because that's the one that I have. So I'm just gonna hit learn more on that just to kind of show you before I give you the overview. Um, I had somebody who asked me um, what to buy and they said they like reading in the bathtub and things like that. So this is the one that I kind of, um, you know, told them, like kind of suggested they buy. Now keep in mind, I'm not, um, I'm not saying go out and buy this exact one or anything like that. Uh, I'm not like supporting this. I'm not getting paid by anybody. I'm just saying this is this is what I chose, and this is what is I believe is good um, for somebody who wants something that's waterproof. But once again, it's up to you for what you'd like, and just basically you can go through them and you can just see what's uh, what's what and what they do. So the great thing I always like about this too is that there's reviews on here, so you can actually go through and read these reviews and see what people actually have to say with it. And something that's new on here as well, for those of you who want to make payments on something instead of actually paying it all at once, you can use Afterpay. And what Afterpay is is that um, it'll break it up into payments uh, for you. So you know it'll have th you know um, four equal payments of fifty dollars, for example, for this one here, um, and that's how they do it. And it doesn't affect your credit rating or anything like that. You can use Afterpay um, and, and do that to, um, to be able to spread it out a bit if you'd like to do that as well. So, th so this one here has a 7-inch HD e-ink touchscreen. Um, and it has the landscape modes. So you can turn it sideways. So I can just show you the one I have. And you can um, turn it sideways as well. And it will go into landscape mode. So this is it here. So you can have it this way or you can have it this way. Um, either way works as well. And then you can go down here, and it's, as you see here, it's waterproof. So it's not like you're not going to submerge it in water, but it is waterproof. So if you do happen to get water on it, um, you know, you can do that as well. So it just talks about it here. And then you can actually watch a little video about it. And for each one of these, you can actually see, um, you know, a little something like this as well, depending on, once again, what you're looking for. So once again, this just shows you here how it's backlit and that kind of thing. You can choose from black or white. You can read without glare because because all of their screens are what you call like a matte finish. So they're not shiny like a tablet. They're matte. So um, they just don't have that sheen to them. So they're very easy on the eyes. Uh, and you can like you can read in the in night mode if you'd like as well. 
Um, in, exactly. You can read it. You can read this in sunlight, uh, in direct sunlight. And once again, because it's matte, doesn't have that shiny finish. You don't have to worry about turning the brightness all the way up. Like you'll be able to see it just fine. It's just like reading an actual book. And you can read by the water. So it's so it's ready for unexpected spills or bath time reader bliss. So if you are somebody, one of those people who enjoy reading in the bathtub, um, this is definitely one for you as well. And it's waterproof for up to 60 minutes in two meters of water. So if something were to happen, the perfect light day or night. So you can basically, you know, you can see there the battery life that lasts for weeks. So yes, the battery life on these, they've always been that way. Kobo's are very good batteries. I, I guess because they don't, um, you know, they don't use a lot of, they don't have a lot of things on them. Like, yes, they have Wi-Fi and you can log into overdrive, but I feel like they just don't use the same juice that like other tablets use to try and keep the brightness of the screen going and things like that and everything that's going on in the background. So this one here, uh, like I said, it's got uh, eight gigabytes of storage as well. And then you can go and actually look through all the technical specs if you'd like, but I'm not going to show that today as well. And then you can go on down, you can look at the reviews and you can see here that they're, they have some pretty good reviews as well. All right, so now I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you my um, Kobo, uh, the Kobo Libra H2O, and I'm going to show you how to log in to Overdrive so you can get books through our library. Okay, so now I'm just going to show you the Kobo. So this is the Kobo H2O that I have here. So you can see that right now it's powered off, but there is a picture on there. So don't worry, that doesn't waste any battery power or anything like that. It's just the last book that you were reading is the one that kind of shows up as kind of like a screensaver. So to turn this on, I'm just going to flip it over. And you see here there's a button here, and I'm just going to hit that button and hold it. And then when I turn it around, it'll be turned on. It should be. Oh, there it goes. It just takes a second. So it's doing its thing. Okay, so now we're in. So as you can see here, there's different things you can do with this. So if you go up here, there's a, there's a sun. So that's to control your brightness. So you have your brightness. You can turn it up all the way if you'd like, depending on how bright you like it. You can turn it up to 100%. You can do natural light if you like, so it just makes it look a little bit different. So you can turn this down if you want, and then turn up your natural light. Oops. Sorry, my fingers are dead sometimes. There we go. And you can just see that that's, what, that's kind of what it looks like. It's like a natural thing. You can turn it to like the... Um, the nighttime setting and things like that or you can hit this auto button and it will auto um, do it to what your light is so whatever it thinks is the proper lighting you can set a bedtime so if you have your bedtime on here you can set that and it'll cha also change your brightness at that point in time as well and then you can go to that your Wi-Fi is up here so you can do your Wi-Fi so it's going to scan for the networks and then you can connect to your network And then if you have a password, this is where you're going to type it in. Okay, so I've typed in my password now, so I'm just going to hit this join button here. And it's connecting to my Wi-Fi. And it's connected. So as you can see here, you'll see the little area up here, it's connected, for, it's connected to the Wi-Fi. So that's good. So now we're just going to go over here to more. And we're just going to go into settings. And then to go into to go into overdrive, we're going to go under the second one. So there's accounts and there's overdrive. So we're just going to hit overdrive. And then you're going to go to get started. So once again, overdrive and Livy is the same. It's just that the Kobo, um, what they do is they use Overdrive, so it's it's okay. So even if you were to have stuff sound good on Libby um, with like another device, when you sign into Overdrive, it should be there as well. So I'm just going to go into sign into Overdrive. So it's just scanning. Okay, so now you're going to type in your public library. So if you go under here, so we're just going to type in Blue Mountains Public Library. And then your space bar is down here. Okay, and then once you're ready and you've typed it in, you're going to hit go. So it's going to try and show up with some one suggested ones that are near you, um, because I live in Wasaga Beach, these are the ones that are suggested to me. Um, but Blue Mountains Public Library is where you want to go, and then you're going to hit that go button, and it's going to find it. So here it is here, 173 Blue Street. It doesn't matter which one you pick, if you pick, um, 
if you pick uh, Craig Leith or if you pick Blue Mountains uh, Public Library, it doesn't matter either either way. It's up to you or the LA Shore Library. So I'm just going to pick the Blue Mountains Public Library at the top because that's the Ontario Library Consortium, which is what we get our books through. And we are we are going to put in our – we're going to choose our library again. So we're just going to go down this list here. Whoops. And Blue Mountains Public Library is here. So you can either choose the arrow down or you can use your finger. Hit that there. And then we're going to put in my card number. All right. And once you put in your card number, you're just going to hit sign in. And we're in. So now we're just going to go to, so let's just go to browse. We're going to just do that. And then this will kind of look familiar to you, I think, if you've used it before. So same thing, they have the just added and things like that as well. And you can go in and your books under my books on the shelf here. You can see those are the ones that we have. Um, and then you're going to go, you can go back to home if you'd like. And then it says press and hold for options. So you can view more options for a book collection. Press and hold on the item for a few seconds. So it's going to hit got it. And then you can go through and you can, you can just discover things and you can search. You can go to search up here and you can search that way. You can search overdrive that way, or you can search the Kobo store. So you just want to make sure that if you're searching for something, so you don't want to pay for something, obviously, you're going to go to search and you're going to go to overdrive. And then you're going to type in what you're looking for here. So I'm just going to just do a quick search just to show you how that works. And then go to go. And it's searching. And yes, you can see here, I just said Elizabeth Gilbert. And you can see that this is what's available right now. And the ones that say place a hold, that you just place a hold on them. And it works just the same way as it would if you're doing it through Libby. All right. So I'm just going to go back. And you can always search the Kobo store if you'd like to do that as well. If, if you're interested in buying books, you can do that. There's lots of things that you can do with this. Once again, this is waterproof. Um, if you go to Discover... You can see here, so it says one catalog, two great ways to read. Borrow any Kobo ebook that's available from your public library or buy a copy of your own to read at your leisure. So you have a choice here. So what you can do is you can, it'll say that you, you know, can sign it out through your library, but it'll also say that you can buy it. So just be careful with that because if you have a credit card attached to this, you don't really want to be buying books that you don't want to buy. Um, but at the same time, it's great to be able to do that as well. Um, you can add books to wish list. And you can you can shop Kobo and add books to wish lists that you'd like wish lists that you'd like to buy, um, and then once again you have Overdrive over here, and then there's just a typical overview of the books that you already own. Under settings as well, there's also beta features. So if you go under here, it says beta features, and you can see here that you can actually um, browse the internet directly from your e-reader. So that's something that you can do as well. Uh, if you are somebody who needs large print mode, you can just hit that to hit it on for large print mode, and it'll make it larger as you can see. And you can even choose your font scale here. So you can pull it down, you can make it bigger, smaller, whatever you'd like to do. And then my words, so you can expand on your vocabulary by saving words you've looked, you've looked up in the dictionary. So there's a dictionary on here as well that you can take a look if you're not sure what a word means. Um, if you go up here, there is, there's some notifications that you can have here. And once again, like I said, the, um, the sun is for the brightness and such. And if you go down here to more... You can see here that there's other settings here that you can use. So let me just go into that for you. So you have um, your accounts, obviously, date and time, Wi-Fi connection, syncing and updates. So updates and syncing is important. Um, syncing means it's going to sync um, from the server, so and it's going to bring updates down for you um, to update things and keep things up to date. Your reading settings, I'm just going to put this here and just kind of show you this. So you can choose what you'd like to do for your reading settings. So it's going to give you some, some ideas of things that you can do. Um, you can just kind of go down here. Oops, sorry. There we go. And it'll kind of, you're kind of in control of the way you want to read. And then if you go back. And there's more. So there's, like, you can manage your downloads. So, for example, if you were downloading something from, um, you know, the library overdrive, for example, um, you want to make sure that you're, there is no data on this. Um, it would just be through Wi-Fi. So that's something that's important to know as well. So you may have trouble downloading something if you're not on Wi-Fi somewhere um, because it's, it doesn't just download automatically. You need to actually have something to pull that down. Uh, it's got some storage on it as well. So it's 8 gigabytes on this one here. Um, so they vary. And then you can take a look at that as well. 
So if you want any more information on that, you can don't hesitate to contact me at librarytech at thebluemountains.ca. Have a great day.